coasts and the seas can find their prayer in your heart. And if you but listen in the stillness of the night, you shall hear them saying in silence, Our God, who art our spirit, it is thy desire in us that desireth. It is thy urge in us that would turn our nights, which are thine, into days which are thine also. We cannot ask thee for aught, for thou knowest our needs before they are born in us. Thou art our need, and in giving us more of thyself, thou givest us all. It is the blossoming of your desires, but it is not their fruit. It is the depth calling unto a height, but it is not the deep nor the high. It is the cage taking me, but it is not space encompassed. And I fain would have you sing it with fullness of heart, yet I would not have you lose your hearts in the singing. Some of your youth seek pleasure as if it were all, and they are judged and rebuked. I would not judge nor rebuke them. I would have them seek, for they shall find pleasure, but not her alone. Seven are her sisters, and the least of them is more beautiful than pleasure. Have you not heard of the man who was digging in the earth for roots and found a treasure? And some of your elders remember pleasures with regret, like wrongs committed in drunkenness. But regret is the beclouding of the mind, not its chastisement. They should remember their pleasures with gratitude as they would the harvest of the summer. Yet, if it comforts them to regret, let them be comforted. And there are among you those who are neither young to seek nor old to remember. And in their fear of seeking and remembering may shun all pleasures, lest they neglect the spirit or offend against it. But even in their foregoing is their pleasure. And thus they too find a treasure, though they dig for roots with quivering hands. But tell me, who is he that can offend the spirit? Shall the nightingale offend the stillness of the night, or the firefly the stars? And shall your flame or your smoke burden the wind? Think you the spirit is a still pool which you can trouble with a staff? Oftentimes, in denying yourself pleasure, you do but store the desire in the recesses of your being. Who knows but that which seems omitted today waits for tomorrow. Even your body knows its heritage and its rightful meaning and will not be deceived. And your body is the heart of your soul. And it is yours to bring forth sweet music from it or confused sounds. And now you ask in your heart, But how shall we distinguish that which is good in pleasure from that which is not good? Go to your fields and your gardens, and you shall learn that it is the pleasure of the bee to gather honey of the flower, but it is also the pleasure of the flower to yield its honey to the bee. For to the bee, a flower is a fountain of life, and to the flower, the bee is a messenger of love, and to both bee and flower, the giving and the receiving of pleasure is a need and an ecstasy. People of Orpheus, be in your pleasures like the flowers.